it is absolutely wild times. It really, really is. And, uh, you know, there's a lot going on. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah. I think it's called Puerto Rico. Okay. All right. Okay. There is also a clip uh, with wow. Tim Rolls watching that uh, with AOC, who is Puerto Rican, and that's an interesting watch out there. Uh, this is another uh, uh, joke that was made during it, and you can put air quotes around the word joke if you like. That's up to you. I welcome migrants to the United States of America with open arms. And by open arms, I mean like this. It's wild. And these Latinos, they love making babies too. Just know that. They do. They do. There's no pulling out. They don't do that. They come inside just like they did to our country. So there's a couple oh. of setups and jokes. Uh, now, Chewie, I want your take on this being a comedian. Interestingly enough, watching Jon Stewart tonight, Jon Stewart will be one of the more respected comedians out there. Um, without without backing Tony Hinchcliffe altogether saying um that was brilliant he was like they were jokes they might have landed but they were jokes I've got some thoughts as well about you first sir you're the comedian uh look objectively I think they're shit jokes um yep. I I mean okay you you've just seen what he's done would you say that this guy is a comedian or would you say he's a racist well, that's the, debate, the, that's the debate going on, isn't it? That's yeah. the, the debate around it is, where is he from? Now, not to cut you short already, but I think it's probably quite important to get the context of what um, is happening as well. So this is who Tony uh, Hinchcliffe is. He runs a the world's largest live pod, podcast called Kill Tony. Kill Tony, uh, you get um, a whole bunch of comedians turn up, names get thrown in a hat, you pull out the hat, you pull a name out of the hat, and you get 60 seconds to do your best stuff. And that's what Kill Tony is. He's also the preeminent roasting comedian in the US. Any roast you've ever seen. Preeminent? Yeah, absolutely. If you let me finish the thing. Any anyone that you've seen, roast that you've seen, he'll have had his hands on it somewhere. In other words, he's written for them, he's performed in them, he's he's been involved with roasts forever. Oh, okay, maybe I'll step back. Because you've got oh, I forget his name. What's his name? Um uh, that dude there. He's probably the preeminent, the funniest oh, yeah, yeah. roaster. Yeah, so I, I've seen a, a, I've seen a bunch of these roasts, and and this guy isn't in my memory bank at all. Well, let's have a look, shall we? There's a this is a bit of his roasting that's been going on, and just by the way, I'm not doing this to defend the guy or comments, but it's it's important to have the full context, I think, mm. rather than a couple of thirty second clips. So this is what he's known for. This is his, his comedy. This is how it this is how it rolls. Tom is afraid of the giants, which is why Kevin Hart is hosting tonight. All night, he's been using the stool that Aaron Hernandez kicked out from under himself. Now, if you don't know, Aaron Hernandez is an American football player who hung himself, committed suicide. So the, the raw and rough and bad taste jokes. Kevin is so small that when his ancestors picked cotton, they called it deadlifting. Tom Brady is a patriot, which is surprising considering he looks like a Confederate fag. Clearly your ex-wife takes after you. I hear she's out there draining balls right now. So, People I mean, we can keep going on, but you get the gist. That, that's who he is. So now the, now the context for who he is, let's talk about what we saw. Chewy. Yeah, so like I said, I've, I've watched a, bo a bunch of the like the roast battles and the celebrity roasts that they've had in recent times and yeah there's there's a lot of dark humor very edgy humor that sort of thing and it's yeah. it's like the stuff that he was doing in that roast wasn't clever it's just hard charging to be offensive mm -hmm. more than anything you know mm -hmm. um you look up Jimmy Carr on those roast battles. I've, I've been thinking uh, that, that we, as right. you were speaking, the exact name in my head was Jimmy Carr. Yeah. Now, now, Jimmy Carr can be super offensive at times, but his jokes are also more well crafted. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I mean, I don't know what, what you have to like. Are you going to bring your A game if you're opening for, for Trump? It is little Trump circle jerk 
rally. No, you just go out there and you play the hits, which is just xenophobia and oh, racism. Yeah. That you're not going out there for clever wordplay or, or that sort of thing. It just won't be appreciated. There was um I can't remember who it was, but it's you know, one of these can be it might have been someone like Tom Segura or someone like that, talking about it's always uncomfortable when you you make an obvious joke, let's say in one of the southern states of America, and you're saying the opposite of what the norm is and the and the laughter should be oh my God, that's so wrong. You said that I'm uncomfortable laughing, but there's always one person who laughs because they agree with it. It's like mm. he was talking to the crowd who agreed with those sentiments. He wasn't talking to the crowd who are going to go, oh no, no, I'm giving you a nervous laugh because we shouldn't say that. Here's the other difference with a roast, right? Willing yep. participant. True, true. Yep, they signed so a contract. They signed an unwritten there. contract to attend. Everybody's up there yep. and they know that the, the gun could be turned on them as well. And, and nothing is, is off limits, you know, yep. um, like Pete Davidson made jokes about his dad dying in nine 11. Um, you know, it, it's, it, it's pretty good, but again, it, it is. When you're telling a joke, both parties need to be in on the joke for it to, to work part of the reason that i enjoy roast battles so much is you see how close people can get to the line and you see the person's reaction and yep. usually in all of those roast battles people are, are laughing you know they're enjoying it they they're, they're involved in it he just took a pot shot at an entire island for a u.s protectorate no less um, that they were just garbage people and just yeah. played racist, racist tropes uh, for minimal laughter, I, I, I would point out as well. And now, you know, of course, it wasn't played as a joke. Now, of course, the conversation starts to come. Um, Trump distancing himself, or Trump's team, you never hear Trump do this, Trump's team distancing themselves from the, the comments. They have a problem there, though. The problem there is they vetted his set because he was mm. going to call um, Harris, Kamala Harris, a see you next Thursday. And they said no. That means they saw the jokes. They took at least one of them out, said you can't do that one, which means they let that one get through. So whether you think he's racist or whether you think it was just the wrong place for that kind of comedy. One thing is 100% clear. Trump's team were okay with those jokes. Because if they're going to take something out that they think is not okay, that means what they leave in is okay. And that's unquestionable, Chewie.